Ruthie, 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 Ruthie. So, someone should make a song out of that. So, like all the DJs, yeah. Chihuahua, that, like that. Chihuahua I wanted to say that that person I need back in the Chihuahua Umbuzo. Please, we need a song from it because it was so funny. Ruthie, Ruthie, <laughs> Ruthie, Ruthie. You go to fight twins. How? So how you want to win? How do you want to win? When that your fight? partner is not even a fighter. Do you get exactly when your partner is DJ Flow that will not even be there trying to shout around with you or anything, right? How do you want to cope with that? So, guys, welcome back. I think you should do the intro. I'm handing over Hi, to guys, you. welcome back to our channel. It's Tonita season today, and we're back with another video talking about the after buzz boost Bam. of the eviction show. Bam. Let's exactly. Go. After Buzz Boost. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and all the good stuff. This came as a result of the shaking tables that Ebuka did. So, the question that Ebuka asked um, Ruti was, you say you don't, like to, <clears throat> you don't like to speak behind people's back, and you said this particular thing about these people, that's Wani. What she said about Wani was that Wani is stingy, Wani is equally stingy and she doesn't know why Wani is like taking the situation with Oyeka personal because she's also like that. And right? I understand, I understand Ebuka for asking that question and God will bless him very well because she's, every time this girl has a conversation, what's her name again? Ruti. Ruti yeah. Every time Ruti has a conversation, she's always like me. I'm like, if I don't, I, I wouldn't talk, face. yeah, I'll say it to your face, I wouldn't talk yeah. behind your back, that kind of mm. thing. And inside that same conversation that she was having, she wasn't saying it with, to their Yes, she was, talking, she was talking behind their back about how stingy they are and yeah. that she's waiting for the third strike when she will now uh, <laughs> let off her steam. The guy was making noodles. I told her I'm not supposed to give her this food because I've come to her twice to ask for food and she has not given me. I said I'm a ticking bomb because she stepped on my food like a couple of times. And I'm like, when she tries this again, I'm going to call her out. I mean, why would not I not call her out? Like... So, because of that, from the live eviction show self, it was almost like there was kind of like an argument because she was saying I said it to their faces and Wani responded that you did not say it to my face. So now, after the live eviction show, what happened? Wani ex handy decided to go about their business and they were now singing this whole thing of Satan. If I'm, let me even bring the video because I want to say the exact thing that they said. I've been at this song. <laughs> Ben, I was in, I was watching. This girl came to tell me that if they born you, you will yeah, call my name. name. So it's like a thing where uh, after the live show, show, they're like, you're not gonna get me. You're trying to wrap me up, but it's not going to work. Yeah, that thing. Work. Yeah. But then she, I, I'm sure they were just singing in passing, and she heard it. Now she caught the sob, and then she was now saying, "Then boy, you will say it to my face." And they're like, "Ruthie." <laughs> Call my name. The boy will call my call name. Call my so name. Like, and they're like, Ruthie, 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 Ruthie. What are you going to do? And she was about still walking away. Baba, come and fight them. She'll be the same if they burn them. Call they my show name. you that they burn them. Well. <laughs> they burn them well. Like, I've called them. What are you going to do? So, it, it was very funny to see, like, um, somebody saying, if they burn you well, do this. And the person does it and you cannot do anything. Okay. What are you now going to do? We have done it. Call my name. And then they kept on calling it. She was now insulting them. Dirty pigs. There are several things that she said. Yeah, business insults. Yeah. So at first, it was just Ruthie like dishing out the insults. Then, them they were just like Ruthie, I'll call your name. What are you going to do about it? So she was now insulting them like dirty pigs, this and that and that. Handy now took it personal like. Um, at first she was trying to what they call it? She was trying to calm one one one. Yeah, one. One. She was trying to calm her down. But then she saw that Ruti was not backing down and she was now insulting them. Yeah. Handing out to kids personal. You see quiet people, fear them. You know that thing we're talking about where we're saying that now Handy is trying to calm Wani down and was telling Wani that she should not flare up. Today, Handy flared up more than the one that Wani did. Yeah, more than <laughs> times two so. Times two of over did. She called her, she used the B word. She used the F word, she used she even called her bastard. She called her several things today. What she you get married they press your breath? What is the pepper you? What do you want? Ah, you get married, they touch your toy, what is the pepper you? And this dog. 
up river. You they, you they do everybody is doing a sister. Is she mad? They born away. They born see, you, see this girl. Before they started the fight, Zinwe, they were trying to have a conversation. Maybe they are trying to settle their relationship matters. Because Ibuka brought it up. Mm. Ibuka yeah. spoke about it during the live eviction show. He was just he he revealed that thing when Chinwe was talking about you know finances um, mm. emotions he invested or oh, everything everything she's the one that paid for his flight and yeah. all that yeah you or the other had you, you gave you gave the impression of you know you were good not speaking to me you were cool to every other person but me so they were speaking about it but the fight took over so kind they had to choose a struggle and the struggle he chose was the fight obviously because that's where things were happening so for the um custodian challenge <laughs> you know i'm laughing uh, <laughs> imagine after fighting that the person you fought the with person now you fight with come win, win. <laughs> come win how you want to react like it was like, crazy uh, it was crazy no me i i feel for her <laughs> i feel bad i feel like, so I, bad for I, her. I feel so expression was just and then crazy. it's not even just that the person won their reaction after they winning, were celebrating your their face, celebration they were was so jumping, on point. They were, it was like so. Let's just let's just talk about how the custodian challenge went. For the first part of the custodian challenge, they had like um food food. What is what is in the call Food stamps, I'm not food something. Yeah, like foam type stuff. Yeah, you shall put your your feet on it and you would use it to walk basically. So you stand. You put it in front, you put your legs, you take the one behind, so you cannot step on the actual floor. So they kept using that to move up until they got to the end, right? And they, they, were, they did it in two sets. The first set and the second set, like three people, three sets qualified from the first, from the first set. And then um, three pairs also qualified from the second set. And the people that qualified were Ruthie, they actually qualified. The Flourish pair, they qualified. Yeah. Mayor Frosch and his partner, they Ruthie qualified. had so much ginger in the first set. Yeah, she had so much ginger. She actually did very well, yeah. right? Um, I think she was the first. Yeah, she won. She was. She, she got was the first. Their first team. But it's first three, actually, so mm. it didn't yeah. matter. Yeah, so um, Checkers, they also qualified. Toby F um, Frosch and Mayor F May Toby Fudge, Mayor Frosch, they were, they were all fighting for their lives because it was just like I mean, we need ginger. this. You need to see, like the ginger was crazy. Then um, Nelita pair, they also got to the second part and stuff. So for the second part, they had to do they had to go over like a balancing beam or something. So you go from one side to the other to pick up um, some items that you assemble and balance the items too. Yeah, balance, yeah exactly. Balance a ball on top of the items. I think that's the part that even like slowed yeah. um, made, made some people not win because some people got to the end before the um, one a handy pair, but one a was able to like put her own, uh, was able Quickly. to balance her own before them. So that's how they turned out to be like the winners of the custodian challenge. The acceleration was actually like oh, nice. Yeah. The yeah. Before before Big Brother ever announced that they had won, they had already started celebrating. Like yeah. immediately she just balanced her own. That's when their celebration yeah, started. Yeah, yeah, they were like, we won. People that said, why are you celebrating? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And why are you celebrating? <laughs> Yeah. And then you need to see Ruthie's face. Ah. You guys. Hey. I felt bad for her because the, the the And the worst part is that her partner was laughing. Like you have yes, to Yes, I wanted to say yeah, that's what I wanted to say. The celebration was contagious. So DJ DJ Flo was happy, was like laughing because like was, you have to yeah. be happy because they were so happy and she was the only one that was holding her laughter. So like in fact it was there annoying. Was no her laughter, safe. There it was, was no laughter, uh, it was annoying her. Like, <laughs> it was so I'm sure it was irritating her, like why why people jump? What's wrong? <laughs> And if you leave her, she's gonna fight DJ Flo for laughing. I said, My the enemy of your enemy. The enemy, hey, this, hey. You, know, you, know, you don't enter, you don't enter this situation. No, no, no. The enemy of your friend is also your enemy. Ah, see, the enter, the enter. I, I, I didn't know you were going to redeem yourself. So I think that's it. Thanks for watching, and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and. I or we are going to see you on the next one. Peace Bye. out, guys. Love you. They say you've not kissed them that time.